No, I'm not okay. Hey, y'all. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. Oh my God, it's bad. Oh my God, it's bad. I'm not well. I'm not well. I'm not well at all. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not, I'm not in any trouble with anybody myself. I just, I'm laying in bed. So no one's here. No one's after me. That's for sure. Yeah. Info. It's bad. It's so bad. Yeah, I just got all the info, everything I need. God dang, I don't even want to talk about it, but I'm just, I have no choice. Yeah, I'm going to tell you guys. I'm going to tell you, but it's you. Somebody was lying about the dead man switch because they didn't want anybody to know who really had it, okay? So, yeah, my heart is speeding up, too. I'm really upset, too. Listen to me, you guys. I know what happened, and I'm going to just be the first one to tell you all about it. Did anybody on here watch his last telegram, his last Instagram live? Did anybody see it? There's no use praying for Cappy. He's dead. He's in heaven. I'm telling you, he made it to heaven, but he is dead. Yeah, it's huge. I feel sick too. <clears throat> so the video's missing. We went looking for it everywhere. I saw the part of it I needed to see tonight. Hopefully that clip gets to me and I can show it to you. Isaac's last video, Sunday, May the 12th. He's not in witness protection. He's dead. Okay, so... Here's the deal. I'm going to need, I'm going to need instant quiet. If you guys play this stuff on here, I can't talk. So I'll wait till everybody quits talking. Cause I can't, I can't do it with the questions. I can't, I can't do it with the questions. You guys just will have to not talk. This it's that big. Thank you. So I was contacted recently by Vegan Mikey. Okay, Vegan Mikey said he had the dead man switch. He doesn't. He is the dead man switch. The mistake that Isaac Cappy made, the big mistake, the stupid mistake, was trusting Mikey on on some stupid money-making scheme that wasn't even going to make him very much money. And let me tell you what. Vegan Mikey's been pumping me for money, 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 money. Anybody he can talk to. Money, 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 money. Give me money. And I'll tell you what happened to Isaac. Give me money, and I'll tell you what happened. 
And I said, why don't you tell me what happened and then I'll give you money. No, I need the money first. And these stupid, long excuses. I recorded every conversation I had with him. So you all can listen to every single one of them. It was all about the money. Isaac Cappy's last video tells us, Mikey is a scumbag liar. Mikey is a druggie. Mikey was using your donations for drugs. Don't trust him. That's what was in the last video. Okay? Guess who showed up at uh, Cappy's house? Anybody remember? A man was there with a vehicle? Why everyone else was gone? Vegan Mikey. He's behind it all. He's gone. He's not in Oregon, guys. He's not in Oregon. He's in a totally different time zone in a totally different section of the United States. He ran straight away after he went to visit Cappy because he was home alone. And they knew he was getting all that money. The Instagram video, yes. Vegan Mikey's behind it all. Him and his crew of bad people. I am so sick to my stomach, I'm about to puke. Oh, he's not in Oregon, I promise you that. I know for a fact, because when he asked me to send him money, it come from a totally different state. He's on the run. He knows they're after him. The law is going to find up with him. He set Isaac up. Oh, yeah. This, it's, guys, it's bad. I knew it. I knew it. Listen, let me tell you something. We've known for two or three days that he's been asking and begging for money. Lots of money. Says he needed to take a trip and do this and do that. And needed all of our money here and there. And I've been putting these pieces together. There's a lot more information than just what I'm telling you all. But it all came together. It all came together tonight. Oh, Cappy was giving him money. Oh, yeah. He says in his last video, he gave him $1,400. But it was more than that. Cappy took a gamble with him for something. Whatever it was, listen to me. Whatever it was, I promise you all. The stupid thing he did was to trust Vegan Mikey. He trusted the wrong person. He trusted the wrong person. And let me tell you what. His roommate and his neighbor... They know. They know every bit of this. Mikey was the plant from the beginning. Oh, poor Mikey. Mikey was the one who got his hooks into Isaac and got him to trust him. Okay? The two people I talked to tonight, one literally opened my eyes to everything, the second one opened up the dead man switch, parts of it. And it points at Mikey. Yeah, he has all the info. You're right, he does. You're right, he has all the info. It's bad, bad, bad. And Mikey's trying to profit off of his death. One of the last things, no, he couldn't have done it alone. You're right. Exactly, Miss Maria. You've got it right there. Read that. Voodoo Donuts was sacrificed to give Mikey credibility. Mikey stayed in Portland. Mikey never left. Mikey just received a whole bunch of money and just hung out. And the whole time he was the deep state's plant to get at Isaac Cappy. Yeah, he, he doesn't have the dead man switch. He, he's the one who came for Cappy, and he came for him personally. And it was supposed to be 
very hush hush, very quiet that he was going there to visit him, but go visit him. He did. That was the last person to see him alive. No, he's not in any trouble. He's not on the run from anybody except for the police because he's afraid that we've figured it all out and we have. He, nobody give that dude a penny. Nobody give that dude a penny. That's who was driving. You're damn right. Because Mikey drove his ass there. This is just unbelievable. His best friend, the person he trusted the most in this life, stuck the back right in him. Oh, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. What? Hey, you tell me. He didn't have a choice but to go with him. He didn't he didn't just go with him because he wanted to. You guys, let me tell you, they were there. They were holding him hostage. He didn't go peacefully with anybody. Oh. The t lipstick mommy, it's the cabal, not Mikey. Let me tell you, the two are the same. You know what? You know what Cappy's big secret was? That's out in the dead man switch. So I heard this one earlier today and I already knew it. But I didn't say anything to anybody about it because I didn't know if it was true or if it wasn't. Because it was killing me until all the rest of this came in. The big secret was Mikey was the one who was behind it the whole time. He's the one who stuck his fingers right into his back. Yeah, roommate conveniently out for the weekend. Neighbor conveniently gone for the week so that everybody could show up and do what they needed to do. Guys, it's a triple hit. I am sick to my stomach, too. I am so sick. I am so sick. I had thought to myself, this has got to be the worst thing in the world. A guy trying to profit off of his friend's death. I was so pissed about that. I've been making recording after recording, listening to him talk so that you all could hear him say over and over again how he needed funds to stay alive. It ain't for the funds to stay alive. Yeah, they closed in on him like vultures. What do you do when all your friends are the enemy? When your roommate and your neighbor and one of your best friends is all the enemy. What do you do? I'm losing my mind. Yeah, I'm going to release those calls. I'm going to make videos with them. We recorded them. I'm not stupid. I kept saying I'm not going to look stupid. No, he doesn't have the dead man switch. He is the dead man switch. He's the asshole behind it. He had no one. You're right. Mikey and his buddies were the ones yelling at the dogs. Yes. I have no doubt about it. They were the men that were there. In a way, white witch by saying, oh, I felt the energy of another male there, of another male there. She was dropping a hint of who that other male was. Yeah, they were the people in the room. They were the people in the room. Cappy said they'd make a movie out of it. You're fucking right. Here's the movie. Here's the movie. 
Are you guys getting it now? Unfortunately, it's a sick fucking movie. His best friend. No, he's not in Portland. Yes, Mikey was the one saying he was going to give me the dead man switch. But I told everybody he there was more than one that had the dead man switch. Mikey never had the dead man switch, you guys. Mikey never had the dead man switch. He didn't want anybody else to throw this dead man switch out there because he knew it was going to throw him under the bus. I've been dropping hints that I knew what was going on with the dead man switch. I've been dropping those hints. Why? Because I knew something was up. We've known something was shady for this whole week. Yes, there's a dead man switch. What part aren't you following? Mikey didn't have it. He is what's in the dead man switch. He is the friend that fucked Cappy. He is the friend that had him killed. That's what you guys aren't getting. He is the bad stuff in the de dead man switch. I got to sit my phone down and get a pair of pants on so I can go smoke a fucking cigarette. Yes, anonymous people helped me get this info. Yes, Anons helped. Hey, hey, somebody just said Priest was involved. Well, let me tell you something. He's out spotting a brand new fucking whip, okay? So, yeah, he's involved too. No, there's never been 3,000 pages. And no, I'm not calling anybody. The person asking me to call, I'm not calling. Sorry, I don't call people. Mikey does not have the dead man switch. I am not calling you jack off. I've never lied once, you guys. I've never lied to you once. I've never lied to you once. Hang on, I'm rolling a cigarette. I'll be right back. I need one like I've never needed one before. Oh, yeah, Mikey was stringing us along. Yeah, Mikey doesn't have the dead man switch. Mikey does not have, no, Mikey does not know, but he's about to know. Mikey thinks I'm just some dumb fucking hillbilly who doesn't know. Yes. Listen, again. Mikey is not, does not have the dead man switch. He is the target of the information in it. He's not everything in it. He was the one that infiltrated Cappy's life. They got everybody involved. Not just so he could gatekeep it for money. Miss Maria, you're saying he lied about it so he could gatekeep for money. No, no. Yes, he's getting money off of it, but he said he had the dead man switch so he could make up some fake information because he knew when the dead man switch was activated, he had a very short period of time. Random Rants of Ryan was perfectly correct. Random Rants of Ryan, Jason Boss, these people were right. I am so sick. I am so just sick to my stomach.
Fuck me. That's about how I feel. Oh, Anon's put clues together. They've been working on it for quite some time. Yeah, Isaac's last scope is starting to make a lot more sense now. Yeah, when you start putting the pieces in the puzzle, you know. And Mikey can't help himself but letting everybody know I'm the only one who knows what happened. Yes, he does, because he did it. Uh, right for real, you might have the exact right thing. Yeah, this is what Michael Dade's posts were about. Me and Michael Dade talked about it yesterday, but we didn't have all this. We didn't know all this yet. I just found it out. I've been up all night getting this information. My wife doesn't even know everything because she's been asleep. She's watching this video too. I woke her up and told her I figured it all out, but she has no idea what all I know yet. I'm shaking. I'm physically sick. I'm about to puke. I'm about to puke. I am that sick. I am sick. I just, I just, I just, I am just, just sick. Right. Ryan was wrong about Cappy. Right. Yeah. Cappy saw the end of it and found it out. Yeah. There's the real Judas. Mikey's the real Judas. This is the answer to the question. No, he doesn't have the dead man switch. Hackers do. Hackers got it. These people know what's going on. Mikey was the target of the dead man switch. Mikey was the target. He's lying about having the dead man switch so we won't point our finger at him. Pretending to have it, saying he needs money, money, money. Everybody he's talked to, he said he needed money. Everything he said about Judas was from Mikey's perspective. You are correct. How do you think I know this info, Mac? How do we fight this? I mean, the rest of the dead man switch is coming, so. No, they just made him say those things. They just made him say those things. Yes, white hats have the dead man switch, yes. Yes, it's being released now. I'm telling you some of it. Wait, what aren't you getting? This is a big part of the dead man switch right here. Oh, Cappy did fuck up. He made the last final deal flippantly with Mikey. Oh, he's as drug dependent as they get. I haven't even seen Michael's tweets. I haven't even looked. He probably is. You're probably right. He thought I was a sucker. I gave him a fake phone number, fake address, everything. You know, Nathan and I talked and Nathan knew what Mikey was about too. He said, don't you give him any money. Yeah, Cappy paid the ultimate price for trusting him. You get it now, do you? I get it too. It's crazy, isn't it? Let's just put it this way. Before he was able to beg everybody for money, he's already moved states away. I had to do one final thing today. I had to do one final thing today. I had to ask him where he was so I could send him money. And I had to make it seem real. And he told me where he was at to get the money. Because I told him I'd send it Western Union.
He's in Mississippi. And I don't care that anybody knows. I don't give a shit. He's in Mississippi. He's in Mississippi right now. I don't know who his PayPal contact in Germany was, but isn't that funny? He had a PayPal contact in Germany. Mikey knew all hell would come his way, but he didn't think we'd figure it out this fast. He didn't think we'd figure it out this fast, guys. He didn't think we'd figure it out this fast. They probably didn't have to pay much to do it. No, they've just kept him high and on alert. And when it's ready, it's ready. And Cappy helped him. Cappy helped pay for his own death. It was hard not to trust him because Cappy always supported him. Yes, you want to talk about Judas. You want to talk about Judas. Who's the real Judas? Mikey's ripped so many people off and ruined credit ratings too. Yeah, and I, we didn't want to believe that. We sent him money. I had no idea he was the one until tonight. I knew something was fishy about him trying to profit off his friend's death, but I didn't get it till tonight. I got it all now. Oh no, we're not scrapping the we're not scrapping the Tom Hanks Cabal connection, guys. That I'm telling you, the witches were involved. Hollywood was involved. This was a hit, no doubt. No doubt. But let me tell you what. Well, I'm glad. You should have warned Cappy about Mikey. Lots of people did. Yeah, Tom Hanks knew something. They all knew you guys. Who can you pay to do it, though? Yeah, Mikey's his real name, Michael Whalen. W-H-A-L-E-N. I put it all together. What did you miss? Oh my God, if you haven't seen it, I don't know what to tell you. What is the next step now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't feel like I was in danger before tonight, but I think I am now. I think I'm in a lot of trouble now. Yeah, this will be on replay. I'm not deleting it. No, I'm not safe. I'm not safe. I'm not safe. But I'm going to I'm going to try to be. I'm going to be I'm going to try to be. I have some alliance members that I know of that are keeping an eye out for me. So I'm not in mortal danger. No one's going to kill me without dying. So uh, you're just going to have to pray for me, Miss Cam. Unlike other people, I'm not accepting donations. I don't need anybody's money. I'm fine. No, I have not told Mikey more than I should have. I am totally not stupid. Something was bugging me with him. Something was bugging me with him. Every time I've ever been in contact with him, it was through a burner phone number. Feels like we are all in hell. Sometimes it does, yeah. Pray. Pray if you want to keep me safe. I don't need anybody's money. I'm okay. I did this for God. Yeah, good intuition helps a lot. Of course I have a weapon. Everybody that saw my video earlier accidentally saw it sitting next to me. I, I, I don't go around unarmed. I believe in the Second Amendment. God gave me discernment about Mikey. Let me tell you what. 
when I started putting the pieces of the puzzle together, the Lord hit me with the Holy Spirit so hard that thunderbolts went through my body. I had goosebumps from head to toe. My body violently racked with adrenaline. I knew it immediately. That is the Lord's way of talking to me. He does it to me all the time. If I stop and I pray for somebody, the Lord hits me with the Holy Spirit. I have been hit with the Holy Spirit tonight so strong. Mikey is the traitor, yes. He was the traitor from the beginning. It is so obvious now that I know. It is so obvious now that I know. I did not know it, but when it all kicked in, my senses went afire. You know, me and Shark Belly Kelly have had a few moments, but yes, I think she's trustable. I really do. I really do. I don't think she's involved in any bad way. She was a friend of Isaac's. She's not perfect. I'm not perfect. We didn't get along with each other. It is what it is. Some things were done and things were said, but we don't hate each other. I definitely don't see her involved in any of this. No. Yeah, Mikey's criminal record is legit. Uh, yeah, she loves Isaac. Yes, she does. The one who eats no meat can be found singing. <laughs> yeah, I know Cappy's smiling tonight. I know Cappy's smiling tonight. I finally put all the pieces of the puzzle together. Yeah, they used his drug problem against him. You better believe that. But he sure wasn't turning down the fucking drugs. And I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. I am going to tell you what. No way he's seen. No, Mikey doesn't know I know unless he's watching this video. He's not alive. He's gone. His family didn't. They, they saw his body. They weren't going to say it was somebody else's body. Oh, I know I haven't let anybody down. It's so elaborate, the whole plan. This is so, makes so, everything Isaac said makes sense now. And you're going to tell me that those women weren't involved when the sheets and the blankets and the pillows and his glasses and his jacket all made its way back to the house? No, they're talking about Mikey's kid. As soon as Cappy befriended this guy, as soon as Cappy befriended this guy, I guarantee these people hunted him down and found him. You know what he told me two or three different times this week? You haven't been confronted by people with sidearms. People hollering at you from black SUVs saying your name. So he was working with the cabal. They were right there with him. If they wanted to shoot him, they'd have shot him. Instead, they wanted info from him and they wanted to sick him on his mom's. And Cappy, the only thing he wanted to do was go hug his mom one last time. And these motherfuckers killed him in Arizona. Yeah, he's dead. Why do you guys think the Instagram video is disappeared? Why do you think the Instagram video has disappeared? Because in that video, no, I'm leaving this video up because in that video, Cappy finally started talking shit about Mikey. And I think he made that video in a moment where he could. And maybe he was being followed in another car. Maybe he was left alone for a minute. He made that video and then they took it away and they deleted it immediately. I can't post the video. I don't have it. I had people tell me what happened in that video word for word. That's how I started piecing the shit together. And then I got a small clip that I was able to view from somebody else. And it was all about talking the shit about Mikey. And it was just audio. 
and I'm trying to get that file right now. How I can get it to me, I don't know. I've tried Dropbox, I've tried email, I've tried text, I've tried everything. Somebody has a small clip of it, yes. It was an anon, an anonymous person from HN. They are supposed to be sending it to me. I have listened to it, but I do not have it. I can show you that I have talked with someone and told them to put it in my Dropbox and they cannot send it. He talked badly about him in the last video. Yes, he did. And this shit where the, somebody just said the shit where the guy had 18 people on the bridge and his body was covered in cardboard. Fucking horse shit. Come on. The Phoenix Enigma is a fucking shill too. If you guys think that when the deep state's involved, it's just one person, you're wrong. They use like fucking eight. Everybody that knew Mikey had him everywhere. He is, yeah, a plant, no doubt. Total lies. None of that shit happened. They're trying to change the narrative. I could if I had two different phones and four different ways to listen to it. Believe me, trust me. In my inbox right now, I've been going back and forth with it for fucking two hours trying to get that file to me. I thought I would have to come on here and wake everybody up and talk, that that would be more important than doing that right now. Yeah, octopus and misinformation, fake news tentacles everywhere. I knew something was wrong when fake news went here, there, here, there, here, there. And the only person not talking was Mikey. Mikey disappeared right after his death and has not been talked to till this week. What the fuck happened there? Yeah, human nature protects the dead, right? If somebody was down there on the highway with a fucking uh, piece of cardboard over them, there wouldn't be 18 people up above. There'd be at least 10 of them down here directing traffic saying, don't run over this guy. Even if he's dead, you don't allow somebody to run over him. Yeah, the Phoenix Enigma is a cult. He's one of them, no doubt. He says he's an occultist. This is a great big setup by a whole bunch of people. Now we know the actors. We know who set him up in his house and who kept him there comfortably. The neighbor and the roommate. And I don't think they ever realized that someone would actually have him whacked. That's why they didn't have everything ready. This weekend comes up. They're told to leave. So they leave. They're gone. Neighbor doesn't come in for six days. The other, the roommate's gone for six whole days. They don't come back. They leave the home open. To who? A friend of, my, a friend of Isaac's that's a man shows up. They saw the car there even. Who was it? Who was it? Who had that car? Mikey. Mikey had the car. Mikey could sit in the room with him while he did a video with his people there, his thugs, the ones involved that got the huge payoff. He's asking for money right now, even though he doesn't need it. Let me tell you what, when I talked to him, he's so fucking high. He didn't even know who I was. We talked five minutes before I called him on the phone and he was so fucking high, he didn't know who I was. Oh, they paid him off very well. They paid him off very well. He's high, he's in a different state. Where'd he come up with all this money at? He's high, he's in a different state and now he's asking everybody online for money. Not that he needs the money because they paid him, but he has to still pretend like everything's the same. He's broke. He doesn't have anything. Yeah, and he, he had so many witch friends. He had cabal tattoos, Mikey did. Yes, his tats are dark as fuck. Right. Yeah, forensic does need to go through his car, but I can guarantee his car's already been taken and cleaned out. It costs money to move. Where did Mikey get all this money to move across state lines?
I made a promise, a responsibility no one would ever want to carry. And he made himself look poor. But how did he move halfway across the country to Mississippi from Portland, Oregon? And how is he mobile? When I told him I would send him money today, he said, I'm waiting at the Western Union for it. How did he get there that quick? So he's not only in another state, but he has a vehicle with him. The perfect illusion is the one out in the open and is therefore mislooked. Yes, I had no idea. Yeah, and he wouldn't move before, but all of a sudden he moved after Isaac dies. And he's saying it's because the dead man switch, the dead man switch. It's because he just killed somebody. That's what I think too. Lipstick mommy. He'll end up dead very soon. He's a loose end. As soon as I decided to come on here and say I knew what happened, as soon as it gets figured out, guess what? The cabal's like, well, he's done. Mikey wasn't moving because of his kid. And he said he couldn't move because of his kid. But he did move. Because he wanted me to send money to him in Mississippi today. Yeah, Mikey's still alive. I just got off the phone with him a little earlier. Yeah, vegan Mikey did it, yes. This is crazy. No, hell no, I'm not going to send him money. I had to figure out what state he was in. Somebody keeps taking my picture. I hope I'm handsome. Sorry, my hair's a mess. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Believe me, when I figured it out, I was about ready to possibly poop myself. He thinks I'm a good guy, but I'm a possible plant. Okay, yeah, I'm a plant. You don't hear me out here asking everybody for money. You don't see me moving across the fucking country. Yeah, you couldn't write this stuff. Remember what Isaac kept saying. They set him up. It was very elaborate. It took a long time. It was people he trusted. People he trusted set him up. People he trusted set him up. It took a long time. It was very elaborate. OK, and they would write a book about it. That's how crazy it was. They would write a book about it. Guys, the more you hear how is that if that doesn't ring a bell to you, then I don't know what else to say. I might as well just get out of this conversation. A lot of work went into it. You're absolutely right. And I have destroyed all their work in one fell swoop. Yeah, I do care about Cappy. I'm nobody's plant. He said they infiltrate and surround you in one of his last scopes. Yes, they did. And he kept saying the name Judas. Isn't that funny? He chose that name because him and Michelle, Michelle had that uh, Judas in the book. So he chose to call himself a Judas when they made him talk shit about himself. Do you know what, do you know what, do you know what Isaac Cappy did that was so wrong? I'll tell you what he did that was so wrong that he felt like <laughs> so bad about. He trusted Mikey. He trusted Mikey. He trusted Mikey. And to all of us, he kept saying he hurt us and he put us in danger. Let me tell you what he did because he had us all give Mikey money. And as we all gave Mikey money, Mikey was taking our information. I don't care what Mikey's writing about spitting on money. I hope you're watching, Mikey. We got you, you motherfucker.
He didn't betray Trump, guys. Some of the stuff he had to say, they were making him say. They were making him say some of that stuff. So you can't take everything he said to the bank. That flippant mistake he made, the stupid mistake he made, was doing something with Mikey. And I guarantee it's what cost him his life. Guys, he's been begging for money, begging for money. Yeah, he wasn't Judas. Mikey was Judas. That was a hint. Who could have been his Judas? Who was, let's talk about Jesus like Isaac did. Let's talk about Jesus. Let's talk about Judas. Judas betrayed Jesus. Judas betrayed Jesus. Judas was Jesus' best friend. What's Mikey out here screaming? My best friend, my dead brother, he was the real J-U-D-A-S. Judas killed his own brother. He was letting us know that this guy was the one who set him up. It was Mikey that put the holes in the walls. I can see it now, standing over Cappy, punching holes in the walls. I'm not part of the FBI investigation, but believe me, this information is going in front of them tomorrow, and I'm going to be part of it. Backstab from the beginning, yes. Sounds like Cain and Abel. Sounds like Judas and Jesus to me. Judas was his friend. Judas came and kissed Jesus and said, now die. Well done, Robert. Thank you. I knew I would get to the bottom of this. I knew I would get to the bottom of this. I've been telling everybody I'm not stupid. And if you mistake me for an idiot, you've made a very, very deep and wrong mistake. When the Lord is on your side and when you're already smart, it's over. Jen, what did you miss? Vegan Mikey was behind it all. A good friend of mine who was in the mafia told me he was a honey trap. Yes, he was. I'm okay, yes. Yes, vegan Mikey, yes. Yes, I believe Mikey was the one in Cappy's car. I believe he was the one who punched the holes in the wall. I believe he was the one holding the dogs back. Him and his friends. We're going to find out because I'm going to make sure the FBI traces all their shit. Even though another odd thing is Mikey didn't have a phone. He didn't have a phone during this whole time that Isaac died. So he may have been smart and left his phone in Portland. He would have known if I bring the phone with me, they'll trace it. So I'll leave it behind. He just got a phone back, just got a number back. He said somebody else had his phone. That makes sense, too. He left his phone with somebody who would hold it in Portland so it couldn't be tracked. Yeah, the dog was not staying on its own. And we heard somebody say, stop. Did he, Miss Cam, did he text you? And what times was it? Was it around his death or not? Get me those dates, please. I want to know when he texted you and what was said. Did it sound like him? What were the dates? Oh, on Twitter. Okay. Anybody can do that. Make Cappy out to be crazy. It's too late. He's going to know I said this. Believe me. 
Yes, the young couple at the pilot gas station with the dog. Yes, I remember that. And the guy who looked like Cappy. Guys, the reason I never did the Telegram group that I told you all about is because that's what Mikey wanted me to do. And let me tell you what he wanted. And I'm going to play it for you so you hear it. It's really starting to make sense now. And my honey's going to catch this too. He wanted a group of people that I trusted, okay, that I trusted in a Telegram group so that he could run background checks on them and find out what they knew and cross-reference it with what he knew before he was going to give out the dead man switch. He wanted to know if anybody was on to him. And I didn't realize that till now, but now I get it loud and clear. The Lord is telling me he wanted to know. I am going to get those, I'm going to get those uh, phone calls and I'm going to play them right now. How's that sound? I want you all to hear these phone calls, okay? So you can see how much sense it makes to you. What is the update on the dead man switch? You just got here, didn't you? Catch up. I'm going to play these. I'm going to play these phone calls right now. Can I have the phone calls, please? I'm not. <laughs> Time to expose everything. You're damn right. He wanted to do background checks on everybody. And he wanted to suss out, he said the word suss out, what they know and cross-reference it with what I know. Wait till you hear this. He's not only begging for money. And I told him, you guys, listen, I'm going to be honest. I told him I would send him my personal money. I would send him money. And somebody else I talked to said they'd send him some money too. After he told me all the information that was in the dead man switch. This is him saying, no, he needs it now. And in fact, the first, the first one. In fact, he told me it was blackmail and extortion that I wasn't going to give him the money first. And I'm like, dude, it's my money. It's not blackmail or extortion. I choose to give you my money when I want to. Okay, here comes number one recording. Everybody listen up. The precautions are more important. Well, I get that, but check this out. I have, I have a, <coughs> my main concern is, are you going to be safe, first of all? I, I, I can remain safe for a very short period of time, and if I cannot raise resources, I will not be. I know, I understand that. Look, I have that even personally covered. I'm not concerned about that. Are Can you remain safe so long as you have resources? Yes. Okay. How quickly can you get me the information? Because you say you trust me. I need to know what's going on, what happened, who did what to who. I mean, as far as all these, as far as all these other people, I don't even care. I just want to get this information out to everybody. I think that's the safest if step for you everybody. Promise me, if you promise me that it won't be released until I give you the permission, I will give you the information first. Okay, I will not. I will not release it. I, you, you have my word. I will not release it until and you, you give and, me the okay. And you know, you know I want you to release it at some point. But yeah. what I need to know first is I need to know every opinion that's going around about it. I need to know the names of the people that are trying to be implicated so I can cross-reference with what I have. This is, a, this is not only a strategy that was directly dictated by Isaac, but it's a strategy that was directly dictated by the only detective that I'm talking to. He said, you need to find out everyone that you're going to involve in it 
you need to ask what they know first, and then you need to cross-reference it with what you have, and you need to make fully sure, and then you need to take some of the resources that you get, and you need to make sure that the information is legitimate, because if, I, if we blow this, and I give them one wrong name, we're going to, we're going to like be in a situation where we're going to have a lot of scrutiny. You got to understand that. So we got to make this, 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 we're going to hit these, we're going to hit these motherfuckers back in the temple. But if we don't do it smart and if we don't play it in, in the time frame that it needs to be played, we could really mess it up. Oh, I agree. I agree. And I'm totally down with that. I just, I want to know. I want to know what's going on, and I won't release it until it needs to be released. And I will get this group of people together for you tomorrow. There's going to be two groups. There's going to be the group that sits down and gives you all their information to trust you. And then there's going to be these other people that do not even want to be involved in this but don't care, and they will help with the resources. Okay, that sounds good. So let's have a conversation about that in the morning, and um, I will consider it and – you do have my trust, so I'm I'm completely letting you take point on that, and let's have a conversation in the morning and see how it looks, and we'll go from there. Okay, well, two things before you go, just real quick. What time in the morning? Um, because of my appointment in the morning, let's do early afternoon. Do early afternoon? Yeah. Okay, I'll be waiting for you to call me then, and I'll text you a couple of times just to see what's going on, to what, find out what the schedule is. That way I, know where, I don't even know where you're at, so I will check. You know, I don't know what your time zone is or anything, but I'll check in with you with text, and then you let me know at approximate time, and I'll be ready to call or have you call at any time. That's Okay, okay yeah, so I, that's I, number I, one. I'll be, honest, I'll be honest with you because I trust you. I'm in a very different time zone, dude. Okay. Uh, and it was absolutely necessary, but that's not going to matter. I'm still going to answer your texts. I'm still going to answer your calls. Okay. Um, okay. You you can tell like I, I like I, I've been dealing with coping mechanisms for a long time, but I'm heartbroken over this situation. I need to take a second to to deal with my own feelings about this and stuff. So it's like um well, but but fighting does make me feel better so let's regroup in the morning in the early afternoon and we'll move from there okay now my second question which is very important you said i could tell these people that this group is going to be for you so is it and you yeah. said i could publicly say this so that means i can publicly say your name to the people you trust okay 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 all right all right, I guess I'll know if I trust them if they spread it public or not. If it, if, it comes, if it comes to the point, you've seen my Twitter, man. I'm not being super vague. I'm being a little bit vague. But if it comes to the point where I need to make a social media post saying that I'm the one working on this, I will do it. I'm just avoiding that for now because of obviously targeting reasons and attention reasons. But if it comes to that point, we will discuss these things together. We will strategize together. I'm telling you guys that I've been through a lot and I've taken a lot of licks, so I'm going to count on this group to help me um, navigate the situation. Okay. And tomorrow when we regroup, you're going to tell me what's going on, right? So I'm not out in the dark? Yes, I'm a, yeah, yes. Okay. All right. Well, I'll look forward to talking to you tomorrow then. That settles enough for me tonight. I'll get the most trusted people I have. Uh, everybody will download Telegram, including me. How do I find you on Telegram? Um, let me see. Hold on one second. I don't mind anybody writing. Navigate the situation. Exactly. Find what everybody else is thinking okay. about this. Can you hear me? Yes. I can hear uh, you. You already have my phone number. Hold on one second. You already have my phone number. And obviously, you're not giving it to anybody else. My phone number, you can find me on Telegram by my phone number or 
my uh, it's at vegan Mikey audio. Okay, okay, good enough. All right, I'll find you one way or the other. If I have any problems, I'll text message you. Yeah, text message me or call me if you have any problems because I know that we need to set up this group quick. Okay, yeah, it'll be set up by morning. Believe that. By the time we talk in the afternoon, it'll have already been set up and ready to go. All right, brother. I can't thank you enough, and I thank you for being here from the beginning, and I am very grateful to have someone I can trust. Okay, well, that's me. I'm ready. I, I, I just I just want to do this for Isaac. I'm telling you, I'm led by God to do this, and that's that. So let's 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 kick him right let's kick him right back in the temple. I'm with you on that. You took the words out of my mouth. Good, good. All right, brother. We'll talk in the early afternoon. Okay. All right. Bye, Mike. All right, brother. You have a good night, man. You too. This is no, just me recording. talking. I'm going to talk into this recording a little bit, just in case we ever need to use this again. Um, you know, he's telling me, trust me. He's telling me he needs funds to do certain things with Cappy stuff, which could be true or could be not. But, you know, I'm very scared after watching all these videos uh, saying there were that he was a grifter. But I cannot imagine him grifting Isaac Cappy's death. If he is, I will personally find this dude and I will fucking end him. If he has me out here doing this for him, I'll, I'll, I'll kill him. I mean, I'm, I'm up so upset. I just want to get Cappy stuff out. And this guy has stuck the fish hook in my mouth and said he has all the information, including the dead man switch. You know this to be true. It's obvious. It's on my Twitter that he sent and said he had this. And over the course of phone calls, he said he had everything that makes sense to me. And he told me, who did you think Isaac would trust? And boom, I believe that, that he has this information. If he doesn't, and if he's tricking me over Isaac's death. Don't, give him, don't have anybody give him a penny unless he gives you that information. If he asked for that before the information, it's a hoax. It's a fucking hoax. Right. Nope. He says he's going to tell me tomorrow what the information is. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm on this video right now. I just promised vegan fucking Mikey that I would keep all the information that Isaac Cappy had in his dead man switch to myself and that I would not divulge it to anyone. Um, I'm sorry. I'm lying to him. I am. I'm going to divulge it the second I know it. So. There's that. Uh, he's asking for monetary compensation and funding before he's willing to give out the answers to anybody other than me. I'm not going to allow anybody to give him a fucking penny. I'm just going to tell you that. Uh, so that's extortion. Isn't it? Yeah, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to talk to everybody in this group. We're going to have a little telegram chat. I'm going to tell everybody to tell him, hey, I got a thousand dollars for you. I got a thousand dollars. for I got a thousand dollars for you. But we need to know the truth first before I'm sending a fucking penny. That way, if this dude thinks he's getting all sorts of fucking money, he can spill the truth. And Isaac Cappy's truth can be told. And nobody gives anybody a penny. We're going to figure something out to counter this. Because if it's a fucking lie, vegan Mikey is done. He's done. If he's playing on fucking Isaac Cappy's death, he's done. All right. I'm going to shut this video off now. I wish I would have recorded the whole fucking phone conversation. He sounded pretty fucking high. And he didn't even know who the fuck I was when I called. Who is this? I said, Robert. Oh, hey, man. But then again, he also said he fucking died. Almost died today from some serious white blood cell infection in his leg. And he was close to death's door and so that could be the reason he seems a little high or something seems different but i've talked to this man on 10 other occasions and he's never seemed like that to me but tonight he didn't seem like himself so if the stories are true about him being a junkie well then it is what it is i don't know uh i don't have any proof to that other than what people told me but i've seen that he got a lot of money out of a lot of people and if that's his game on this one, it's game over. We're not going to allow that to happen. Uh, this was my second phone call with him. The first one was about one minute, 30 seconds, because he said he was going to, he had the dead man switch after I posted it on Twitter about the dead man switch. He reached out to me 
and said, I have the dead man switch. If this is some sort of grift, I want everybody to know I'm already on top of it. I'm not going to allow it. And if he's doing it on Isaac Cappy's death, then fuck this dude. We're going to find out. He either really has the dead man switch or he's a fucking liar. One of the two. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be burned by it. I'm just not. I'm gonna be smarter than this. I'll talk to you all soon. Um, this is a video you won't see. Hopefully, hopefully everything's on the up and up, and you'll never see this video. If not, I had my amazing wife get it, record it, so you guys can hear it, and so that you can hear it again. We're not gonna be struck by the grift. Not during Isaac Cappy's death. I'll kill this dude fucking shit it better not be he better have the truth hopefully this doesn't play on one of my videos if it does if i have to play this and you all have to see it then i'm so sorry but just know i'm ahead of it now and he's not grifting anybody talk to y'all soon bye okay so that was video number one as you all see we even left an afterward after the conversation because we were already on to the fact that something was off. Yeah, I said I made these videos. I hope I never have to play them. I was hoping I'd never have to play them. Uh, Mikey doesn't know I found out that he is what's in the dead man switch, that they were pointing to him being one of his Judas killers. He doesn't know yet unless he's watching live right now. Everybody, I told you all, when I found out, you would find out. Here I am keeping my word. Here comes recording number two. Now, you all just heard Mikey say he would give me all the information the next day. Okay? He said he was going to give me all the information the next day. Now listen to what he says. Now listen to what he says. Totally different the next day. Here comes number two, and you're all very welcome. I'm not stupid. Right. We're cruising down the road in the car, so I'm going to switch you over to my Bluetooth so my wife can hear too, okay? Okay, hang on just one second. Dang, damn it, stupid phone. I'm not, I'm not. Okay. All right. So you can only talk for a minute now? Yeah, just uh, a couple a couple minutes. Shit. Sorry, I hit the button. <sighs> Hang on. Sorry, I accidentally hit the button. Okay. Yeah, this one's going to be legendary, guys. Well, we're both here. We can hear you. Um, so do tell what's happening. Well, there's, I got, I got 11.5 missed messages in Telegram that I can't respond to. I've got, um, who gets 11.5 messages in my inbox in, he's high in uh, Twitter that are of the ones I've accepted. I've got like 14,000 requests. <laughs> Somebody said if Robert like had a British accent, nobody would think he was that smart. <laughs> and you are a legend. I'm going to try to delegate that a bunch of, uh, of uh, about some people. I might be giving up my access to my social media to a trusted group. I talked to a couple of people about setting up a trusted group. I, uh, I'm going to be very vigilant about, like, way more than before about who I'm speaking to, and uh, it's just, it's, it's a mess. Oh, believe me, I know. Oh, my God. My, my, my social media is like that, too, dude. I woke up at, oh, I don't know, it took at least an hour and 15 minutes just to get through the messages that came in from the time I went to bed till the time I woke up. So I get Dude, it. I couldn't get through these in months. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, so, but basically, the situation is, I explained to, there's one other person that I trust that I talked to, and I explained to them, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a little bit vague, and I want to apologize for that, but I have a contact, so... In, in, in the information, in, in the information dump, can you hear 
me? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Okay, in the information dump, I have names, addresses, social security numbers on some. I have, um, basically, I was able to obtain um, any public record, which means that I was able to get any police calls that were made. So I have a contact who is going to, that I, it took a long time to make this contact, and they're going to be able to tell me what these phone calls were about. So I'm very quickly going to be able to suss out who was doing what and at what time and who they were speaking to. And I can't go into detail on who the contact is because obviously it's not the most of the tool. And then it was very difficult to get to. But all of this is going to take expense a considerable expense. Not only do I have to travel to see this person, not only have to do, not only is it expensive to do these things, but it's also if I can't keep myself locked in a how long to do it, we're never going to get the vindication for Kathy that we need. So that that's just my situation. Well, as I told you, I am ready to uh, to move some funds your way if that's what it takes. So long as I know what 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 was involved with the dead man switch. And I know what his final wishes are, just like you do. And you told me you were going to tell me that today. The second you tell me that, the second you show me that, I'm going to start sending you whatever funds you need. Okay. Well, if you have the same, if you have the same, you have the confidentiality agreement too, don't you? What do you mean the confidentiality agreement? Well, I don't know if me and Isaac were different from me and yours, but I I uh, made an agreement with him that no information is to be shared until I have vetted all the information that everybody. Uh, my 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 strategy is is I want everybody else to tell me what they know, and I want to cross reference it with what I know, and then I before I go to somebody to. Start running. Well, I get that, Mike. Mike, I understand that. You told me that yesterday. I get that. That's what you're doing with these people in the group. But you told me today that you had no problem sharing everything with me. And as soon as you share things with me, I'm going to start sending you funding. That includes my own personal funding that'll help you out to at least stay safe for the next few days. And then on top of that, as I already told you, I had somebody else willing to send you a, a huge amount of funding to help you stay safe for at least a, a couple of weeks or a couple months or whatever. I'm ready. I mean, I'm ready to do that, but I need to know what's going on. I need to know you. I, and like I told you, I won't make it public, but I still need to see what the dead man switch unlocked. Well, you know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a, it's a massive dump, dude. Like if you want to sit down, if we could schedule a time for like, Seven hours, and I'm a, and I'm complete. I'm of complete confidence that every single detail can be shared. That we can do that. But I, I'm like, I haven't even had. I haven't even. I, I haven't even had time to discuss over the entirety of it. Basically, I prioritize the. I prioritize the identities. Look, man, I've got so much that I. I can't even begin. Like I can't even begin. So I well, it has to begin like, somewhere. He's been dead for you know over a week now. That was the whole point of the dead man switch was to get this info out. So I mean, if you want to share it with me, go for it. If not, if if you can't do that, or if it's something that you can't even start, then I'm just gonna back off and I'll just allow you to do this on your own. But if you want my help, you've got it. If you want to give that stuff to me, that's fine. Um, I'll take I'll take what you give to me, and I'll start looking through it. I do have the time. I'll spend 24 hours for the next seven days going through it, if that's how big the dump well, is. So just don't take any don't take any offense to what I'm saying, but the, but you you helping me and the other person helping me are consent are contingent. I'm re, re I'm re releasing information that Isaac specifically told me not to release. 
What was the point of not releasing it? I thought that's what the dead man switch was for. No, there's instructions, man. The, the instructions are that I, because I have a contact that is able to do extensive background checks that no police department is able to do. It took months to make this connection. I have to find out what other people are trying to say the narrative is so I can, so I can suss out the, dis, the disinformation. And I need to know that when I go to this source, to suss out these names that I'm going to them with actual names that need to be investigated. Not only is there a high expense for doing this, not only do I have to travel to do this, but, um, you know, even keeping myself walking along uh, uh, enough time to do it, these are my instructions. And I, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, and I really think that if you're in this for the same reason I am, you'll respect it. I'm going to respect Isaac's wishes before I, I respect anyone else's. Okay. And if it's about a matter... Can I see the wishes that he left? Can I see these instructions? That way, I mean, if, I, if I'm not allowed to have the information, I can at least see the instructions he left, right? Well, I mean, they include, uh, they, they include the same kind of confidentiality that he made me agree to. That's the whole point of it. I said... I sent him a similar thing, man. Like, if I was the one who was gone right now, you'd be having the exact same conversation with him. Well, this is not what we talked about yesterday. You told me yesterday you were willing to dump it on me and let me know everything about the dead man switch, what was going on. That's what you told me yesterday. So that's what I've been waiting for. Yeah, I told you. No, no, no. Brother, 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 check it out. I told you once we established a group of people that we could trust and we could suss out who's trying to give us disinformation, and I want names sent to me of people that are thinking they're involved so I can eliminate them. So I can go to this contact that took me six months to develop, sitting in interrogation rooms and everything else, and traveling and, and, and busting like my life into absolute pieces to make sure that I can have this for him. I need to know with confidence that it's the very first priority is, is sussing these names out. The names are what we need, okay? Like I have the names. I have the information on them. If I give them to this person, they're going to be able to tell me where every police call that that person ever made, what the context of it was, okay? Every action that was made, I'm going to be able to understand that. When we have that information, we're going to know who is informing. We're going to know who is trying to get him in trouble. We're going to know who is following him. This is the most important part. After we can get that, then I can release the things of sentimental value. Then I can release his music or whatever. But I'm under specific instructions from my brother, who is dead, to do things a certain way. And I sent it to him the exact same way. So I told you, if we can get a group of people together that we can trust, and I told you I'd put you as point man on it because I trust you, if we can get that together and I can vet these people and I can get them to give me the information that they have, then I will be comfortable with it. But don't forget, man, this isn't people watching Isaac on a screen anymore. This is my dead brother, okay? So I have to do this the way that it has to be done. Okay, Not well, that's... Yes, okay, I, I get all that, but listen. Yesterday you told me you had no problem sharing the info with me. And now today you're telling me you can't. You said with me, no problem. No, I, I said as soon as we have... As, as soon as you set up a group of people, I put you as point man to set up a group of people that we could trust because I can't bear this load on my own and I need to have a support system. Like, regardless of whether or not you're the most trustworthy, trustworthy person in the world, I'm not willing to let this gigantic, gigantic responsibility rest on mine and your shoulders, not just for the sake of error, but just for the sake of the fact that the contacts that I have, they're only my contacts. So it's like, I, I need to get a group of together that can help me suss through the social media, that can help me suss through the, the disinformation. I need the disinformation before I can proceed to, to get these contacts um, vetted by 
by this contact that I have, you, you got to understand that's the process. And not only is that the process that's going to protect all of us, because if we make one slip up and if we accuse one wrong person, we're going to lose all of our credibility, man, all of it. So if I, if I come out with this stuff too soon, we're going to lose everything. Well, and all of this is also stipulated in exactly what me and Isaac wrote to each other. Like, there's no rush on this. I guess that people want answers, because a lot of people look at this as entertainment, and a lot of people are really upset about it, and I get that. But there's a process, and when you're dealing with something like this, especially when it involves my life, I have to have precautions, man. Okay, well, I'm going to just go ahead and step my happy butt right back out of it. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I, I want nothing more to do with it then. Uh, I didn't realize it was going to take this long. I was under the impression that the dead man switch was meant so that as soon as he was dead, his information would be out. Uh, from our conversation yesterday, I understood that I would be shared that information. If that's not the case, I'm done. I'm good. You guys, I told you specifically, good, dude. Good luck to you. God bless you. I hope you do what's right for Isaac. You know I'm going to do what's right for Isaac. I hope so. No, you know so. Well, good luck. I, I'm, I'm extremely disappointed by your reaction, I'm going to have to say. Uh, that's okay. I'm sorry. I just, I, I didn't get involved in this to let it be out for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Nobody's talking about weeks and weeks and weeks, man. We're talking about setting up a little group of people, maybe a couple people that can help stuff through this, a couple people that can help me get, get out some distance information. What is your motivation of getting it out within 24 hours? My motivation? Because it's been already almost two weeks since he died. Uh, I want everybody to do, know do why you know he know died and killed him. Do you, do you know what's happened to me in the last two weeks, sir? Well, you told me you had to move, so I get that. No, I had to... I had, you, you consider myself in witness protection, man. Like, I'm not sitting here dicking around. I'm not sitting here ignoring my best friend's death. Okay, okay. I'm right. doing everything that's, I can every day. That's every great. day. That's I'm, great. I'm working harder than anyone on this planet for Isaac's vindication, and I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to be... means that you're going to revoke money from me, then take the money, man. I don't care. I'm going to be cheering from the sidelines, dude. I hope you do it. It's my money that I was talking about sending you, so... I mean, I'm just going to step away from it. Why, just, why would you? Why would you leverage money against somebody that you, in the situation you know they're in, when you know that not only would it take money for Isaac's vindication, but it would take money for me to stay alive? Who said anything about leveraging money? I said I am personally going to step back from this. I'm out of it as far as yeah, the, the information you're goes. You had, you're saying you, you, you you're saying you were going to help me, and you're saying you had another investor that was going to help me, and you're saying you're pulling an investor. Not it to you the time that you're I didn't say that. You know, an I'm investor. Gonna that. I'm going to give them your direct information to send it to you. I never once said I was pulling any money. I never said that, Mike. I said I'm stepping out of this. Well, I want you, I, I, dude. No matter how bad this conversation seems to have went, I don't want you to do that, man, because I've developed trust for you. Well, I, you know, I, I, I'm just not going to go on with why don't nothing. You, why, do, why don't you just try to? Why don't you just try to step back and realize that there's a lot of variables that you might not be aware of that have to remain close to the vest, and maybe try to give it at least a little bit of patience because you, I'm not sitting around here waiting till next month. I'm sitting around here working as fast as I can. I got off the, 10 minutes before you called me. I was on the phone with somebody else for 45 minutes. 10 minutes before that, I was on the phone with somebody else for 45 minutes. This is consuming my life. I know. You just... But, but trying to rake listen, in the dough. You just told me you haven't even begun to open up all this data. You haven't even begun to look at it. You don't even have the time to look at it. So, I mean... I, I don't. No, I didn't say that. I said I haven't had the time yet because I just relocated and I have gone through the data. I've gone through the data that was directed specifically by Isaac to be the most important. He's not worried as much about the sentimental things as he is about getting the names out of the people that made it so that he's no longer here. That right. is my main focus. That's and my I'm main the focus. Only person, That's my main I'm focus. I'm the only person in the world 
dude, I'm the only person in the world who has all those, and I'm the only person in the world who has a contact that can make it so we have more information than we're legally allowed to have. Well, it's, I, you know, I'm just not going to go blind like this. I thought I was going to have some information today, and if it's going to be another day, I'm just, I'm just, I can't, I personally, myself, spiritually, emotionally, physically, I've been wrapped up in this since he died. I've been doing it for free, trying to help get stuff out, and if I'm going to continue to go you blind, I I, I, if I'm going to continue to go blind, I'm going back. I'm, I'm going to step out of it just for my own sake. I'm afraid my hair is starting to turn gray over all this. So that, that's what I'm saying to you. I'm just have, you, have you, look, man, this is not, this, this is not going to try. I'm not trying to make this sound like any self-serving situation, but have you ever taken a step back and, and put yourself in my shoes for a second? Yeah, you've been in your shoes. Believe me, I'm in your shoes, dude. You, you think so? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so so you've been approached by people that uh, wanted to kill you. You've been approached yes, by two Yes, absolutely. I've been told I was going to be killed for speaking out about this for the last week about 20 different times. And how many times has it been by a person that's directly standing in front of you with a sidearm? Well, I've got a sidearm, so if they step in front of me, they're going to get shot. Yeah, but I'm telling you, dude, you, you, if being followed around and having, you know, people calling out your name of black SUVs and chasing you out and getting you out of your house and hacking your email so you lose every client and you lose your house and you lose your family and you lose your entire income that you've built for the last 20 years of your life and having to relocate halfway across the country just to make sure that you're not dead. You know, I mean, I'm not trying to get any kind of sympathy cause. I'm just saying, like, maybe maybe try to have some perspective here. I'm respecting what Isaac asked me to do. And if you respect Isaac, I would hope that you would at least agree with me and not abandon me on this because I do trust you. And I, I need, dude, I need your help. I need any help I can get. And if people are like this, then this is never going to happen. Yeah, I'm never going to be able to have the resources to get the things done that I need to get done, and I'm not even going to be walking around anymore. You're going to have another. You're going to have another guy. You're going to have to look into. No, uh, I know, and it's it's unfortunate that I have to step back. It's just it's it's going to take a toll on me. I mean, I can't just not know anymore. So, I mean, you know, if you want to keep all that information, so I can't count on you for anything. Well, you can if you want to give me some of the information, Mike. But if you don't want to give me anything, then I'm no, absolutely, I'm stepping out of it. I, it just is what it is, dude. I, I'm, I, you know, I've been. And you're, chasing... not even, you're not even in contact that other person that was going to help. <laughs> the other person with money. Will you? I. They might even be in your inbox already. Well, you know what, dude. I, I get how this conversation went, but I'm going to call you tomorrow regardless. If you still don't want to talk to me, um, you can do that. But I, I'm, I'm telling you, have a little patience because this is this this is not a game. This is not a character. This is my dead brother. So just just try to try try, try to bear with me. There. I'm still here. All right, man. Well, I'm going to give you a call tomorrow. Um, if you still don't want to talk to me, I, I, I'm more in that. But I have nothing but love for you. I appreciate that you've been around since the beginning. I'm, I've got to say that I'm kind of shocked. But on everybody, I, I'm, I'll i pray for you. I hope, I hope that change quickly enough for you to have it in your heart. I hope so, too. All right, brother. All right. Bye. Wow. I had seriously hoped this was not an extortion scheme, but he's in it for the long game. I just don't believe anything he said. Got a sick feeling in my stomach. My wife's had a sick feeling in her stomach 
in her stomach since yesterday when he told me he needed money to get this done. Uh, we've sent Mikey money. A lot of money. So, and then we turned around and saw the Jason Boss videos. We saw other people's videos saying they were grifters and scammers. And everybody just kind of, we kind of hoped it wasn't true. If he's doing this to me right now over Isaac, who he keeps calling his dead brother. And he's the most worthless fucking piece of shit on the planet. I hope that's not the case, but if it is, I'm sorry. It wasn't my fault. A guy called me and told me the key unlocked the dead man switch. That he has all the information that it's massive files of data. I mean, you all heard the conversation, so that was vegan Mikey on the other end. I'm going to give it a couple more days before I put this stuff public, but... I have a feeling, even though on the last video, I uh, I said I hope this wouldn't go public. Now I have a feeling it's all going to go public, so I don't know what to do. Talk to you guys soon. <clears throat> so, as everybody could see, I was just devastated and blown away. But at that point, I was only going to post it online for the fact that I just thought he was grifting. I had not put together that he was the one there until I got some information tonight when the person with the real dead man switch started posting their information. When I learned what was in that final Instagram video and when I put it all together, that's when I really figured it out. So I saw all the nice comments and I wanted to thank everybody for it. Um, I've tried to tell people I'm nobody's dummy. Um, and I've tried to tell people that uh, you don't ever want to play these kind of games with me or I will, I will nail it. And I did. Um, the guy who's posting all the dead man's switch information is a hacker. And he speaks to me on um, Twitter using a handle that's not his. And he comes on and he talks to me and then he leaves. So I don't have a whole lot of, I don't have all the information yet. But he says it's coming, it's coming, it's big. And everything's going to be out soon. And everyone's going to have it publicly. He's even going to give it to me to give to everyone else. Uh, but I figured this one out. I'm nobody's dummy. Um, I've been around a long time. And uh, I'm really glad I caught this. Um, I'm really glad I'm finding out that Mikey is what the dead man switch is all about. He was Isaac Cappy's number one enemy. The one person he... Yes, yes. Mikey is implicated directly. Yes. Yes. Mikey is the one who was leading him in. The bet, the, the, the thing that he put the money on, the thing that he made the big fucking mistake about was Mikey's little scheme. It's something that Mikey had a scheme. So, yeah, I think he's the one who drove Isaac, yes. Yes, I think he's the one who was in the house and the one who drove Isaac, yes. It's, it's like that, you guys. It's like that. If those of you didn't see that, if you checked in late, that's what's going on. It is horrible, yes. Um, believe me, this is all going to the FBI. Believe me, it's all going to the FBI. And the white witch knew, and the other neighbor witch knew. They were all together in on it. They all left so Mikey and his crew could come in. 
They left. She left for six days. The neighbor didn't show up for five or six days. Even though she was there watching the dog every day, she wasn't there for the last five or six days. Did anybody catch that? That was another one of her lies. And the dog was all dirty and nasty and the house was all dirty and nasty. How is that possible if Kayla was watching the dogs? Why would you blame Cappy if Kayla's job was to watch the dogs? But she wasn't there for the last five or six days. So, you know, okay, she owns a flower shop. Mother's Day is the busiest week for a flower shop. Ask yourself a question. You just said something and you just bought into the world's silliest, stupidest little thing. She owns a flower shop. Mother's Day is the busiest day of the year. Wouldn't you be home? Your business has to be right down the road from home. Did she pull up a cot inside of the flower shop and stay there? What you just said you were trying to prove a point with, saying, oh, it was busy time. She had to be in her flower shop. She did. She had to be in her flower shop. What was she doing gone for six days? What was she doing gone for six days? If she had to be in that flower shop and it was that busy, busiest time of year, what was she doing on vacation for six days? She should have been home every night. But the way they told it, the way they told it, the way they explained it, made you just fall right in and believe it. Like it was some important part of the story. That's what I'm saying about all the little lies that you catch people in. That's what I'm trying to tell you about all the lies. If you see through the lies and you understand that this stuff that they say doesn't make any sense, then you get it. You either get it or you don't. If it makes any sense to you that she said it was the busiest time of year and she had to be in her flower shop all the time, Where's your flower shop? Toledo, Ohio? You'd think you'd want to go home and go to bed after 10 hours a day in a flower shop. You wouldn't want to be gone. Yeah, she'd be working a lot of hours, but she'd be home every night. She wouldn't be gone for six days. You don't go on vacation if you're working your six busiest days of the year. I mean, come on. I know I'm not the only one who gets this. It, 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 it stuns me when people say stuff like that. You really fell for her story? You didn't see right through it? These people are whack. And if you look at their lies, they'll tell them right to your face. And they'll make you believe it. Thank you very much, Lisa. The Holy Spirit is guiding me, but I'm also a very smart man. I'm very wise I've been through a lot. I know. Um, I can see through people. God gives me a discernment that is unreal. And when he makes connections in me, they just fire off like bang, 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 bang. And I know when God is telling me something and God has told me what's going on here. And God's not the only one who told me. But when other people told me, God just reaffirms it. He just hits me with wave after wave of the Holy Spirit. And I'm telling you. telling you yeah i understand in a way it's hard for other people to comprehend but also i'm very highly intelligent i've read a lot of books and and it's hard to it's hard to it's hard to trick me i'm very hard to be tricked yeah it's time to wake up everybody it's time to wake up hopefully this will, this everything, figuring this whole story of Isaac Cappy out will make all of you a little more awake to what's going on in the world. Thank you. I feel like a true friend. I feel like I've done him a service. No matter what happens from here on out, I've figured this little shithole out. I've got it. I figured it out. I put it all together. I'm the first and only person to get it all. Although I'm going to tell you, Michael Dade's a sharp cookie. He was right behind me. Yeah, why would you make a video about your friend like she did right after he died? You don't. You don't. 
Am I going to confront him? Absolutely, I'm going to confront him. Absolutely. Oh, I feel a lot better. I knew something was up, but I didn't know what it was. I mean, I'm still sick to my stomach over it. Don't get me wrong. I'm still very sick over it. I'm going to have a hard time sleeping. But I'm laying in bed now, so that's where I'm going. I just wanted everybody to know. Uh, I doubt he's going to answer the phone to me after he hears this, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what he's going to get on and post now. It's going to be some fucking bullshit. He's going to try and scam people and take all their money. And uh, then he's going to disappear. Mark my words. He's going to disappear. He's going to delete everything. And he's going to go into hiding real quick. He's going to try to get as much money as he can. And then he's going to delete everything. No, I'm not going to call him right now. I'm tired, everybody. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Yeah, I am going to do a group hug, and I am going to do a prayer. I don't care if he tries to flip it on me. If you've come here and you don't see what I'm telling you, then I, I, I don't know what I can do to help. I don't know what else I can do to help. Yeah, I worried about that. I thought about that, that he would disappear and have somebody say he was dead and it's my fault. Oh, well. Yeah, why would he need to do background checks on everybody in the group? Why did he need to know what you knew and cross it over with what he knew? That's why I didn't do the group. I'll be damned if I was going to invite a bunch of people in for him to get their social security numbers, birth dates, do background checks. I wasn't going to allow that. Who would have wanted to join? He wanted to know if anybody was on to him, you guys. That's the honest to goodness truth. He wanted to know if anybody was on to him. And I think they'll probably will silence him. They gave him enough money that he's been fucking so high he can't hardly walk for the last few days. I guarantee you, he's so schnockered. If you didn't hear that last phone call, if you didn't hear it in his voice, how can you afford that much drugs to be that high? Especially in another state. And I know he's in another state for a fact. But he's running out of money. Maybe. Maybe he's got a lot more from the deep state. And maybe he's just begging for money from everybody just to add to it. No, he wanted to do background checks on everybody I entered into that group. Where's he getting money for background checks? He said it was going to cost a lot. And that's why he needed all my money. And all everybody's money. And then I talked to Michael Dade. And Michael Dade said that's the first thing he called him about. Asking for money. Money, 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 Mikey. Big money, Mikey. Lion, vegan ass, Mikey. Group hug. Lord, I thank you tonight. For these amazing people that are around me that have helped me to solve this case. Thank you so much, Father, for giving me the insight, the intelligence, the friends, all the help that I could to solve Isaac Cappy's murder. Now, Lord, we're halfway done. Now give me the strength and the fortitude to finish this, to watch all these players go to jail and burn for what they've done especially vegan Mikey. Uh, Lord, I beg of you um, to keep everybody who's scared safe, to keep me safe, um, to watch out for all of us, give us the intuition that we need to do the things that we need to do and keep continuing with this case. Father, I also ask why I have 200 and some people here live right now that we all pray in Jesus' name that you help save all the children. Any child in bondage tonight, Lord, we ask that you harm their captors. You give them heart attacks and, and uh, cause them to be arrested and pulled over and, and imprisoned and save all the children that are in captivity tonight, Father. Keep saving them. Don't let another child be harmed. Stop this evil cabal dead in its tracks, Lord. Let Trump be smashing it down from the outside and us smashing it from the inside. 
let us help destroy it in our way right here on the internet from our little corner. Let us help destroy any section of the deep state we can while Trump destroys the rest. And Lord, just help us. Help us all. We need your discernment. We need your wisdom. We need your intelligence. And save all the children and give us all a big dose of the Holy Spirit. And keep us safe, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, everybody. I love you. I'm going to bed. If I can sleep, I don't know. I'm pretty sick over this all. I probably at least have to go smoke. You're welcome. I did it because I truly, I truly loved Isaac. He saved my life. I owed this to him. I promise you all, this is the answer to everything. I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you all so much for such nice things. You guys are amazing. Even when this is all done, um, even when this is all done, I want to be friends with you guys. I want to do some periscopes, just, just friendly ones, just to say hi and talk to you guys. But you're right. This is far from over. Check my DMs. Okay, I'll do that before I go to bed. We do miss Isaac. We do. We do. I'm so sorry. But I love y'all. Good night. We'll 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 talk to you soon. We're not done. I will be checking my messages. Thanks, you all. Talk to you soon. And the FBI will be knowing everything I know. I promise. And I'm doing it for Isaac Cappy. That's right. And I do protect myself. Second Amendment protects me all the time. I hope Isaac is smiling down on me. Bye, everybody. <laughs>